namashiva students in today's english language class we are going to learn about infinitives an infinitive is a verb that functions as a noun adjective or adverb in order to express an opinion purpose of an object or action or answer the questions who what or why an infinitive usually begins with the word to and is followed by the base form of the verb that is the simple form of the verb that you would find in the dictionary for example to read to run to jump to play to sing to laugh to cry to eat and to go remember that although infinitives are verbs they do not function as verbs instead they are used as nouns adjectives or adverbs now let's see how infinitives are used as nouns we must remember that a noun is a person place or thing when an infinitive is used as the subject or direct object in a sentence it functions as a noun the subject of the sentence performs the verb that is the action while the direct object receives the verb how i love to sleep in this sentence the verb is love who or what receives the action of being loved the infinitive to sleep this makes to sleep the direct object of the sentence in this case the infinitive functions as a noun that expresses an opinion it could be replaced with a person place or thing as in i love pizza another example is to help others is so important in this example we have the verb is who or what is so important the infinitive to help in this case the infinitive to help is the subject of the sentence this means that the infinitive functions as a noun in this sentence now we'll see a few examples where infinitives are used as subject to find fault with others is easy here to find is used as subject similarly it makes me angry to wait for people who are never punctual in this sentence to wait is infinitive used as subject now how are infinitives used as object for example i want to go i would like to have corn flakes for breakfast in these two sentences to go and to have are infinitives used as object now let's see how infinitives are used as adjective an infinitive used as an adjective always describes a noun an adjectival infinitive always follows the noun it describes for example this is the best time to start the first attempt to build the edifice ended in failure in these two sentences the underlined parts to start and to build are infinitives used as adjective now let's see how infinitives are used as adverb an infinitive used as an adverb always describes a verb an adverbial infinitive usually occurs at the beginning or at the end of a sentence and does not need to be near the verb it describes for example to win you need the highest number of points we nailed plywood in the store to prepare for the storm in these two sentences to win and to prepare are infinitives used as adverb now students it's again time to solve exercise you must copy down these sentences in your english language copy and solve them the first exercise is state how infinitives are used in the following sentences i'm reading out the sentences for you number a to err is human number b peacocks love to dance number c there was nothing left for it to fight number d 
Let us pray. Number E. The mango is fit to eat. F. The order to advance was given. Number G. Men must walk and women must weep. Number H. I'm sorry to hear this. Number I. He's slow to forgive. Number J. And fools who came to scoff remained to pray. Now we are coming to the second exercise. Here you will have to combine each of these sentences using infinitives. Number A. He wanted to educate his son. He sent him to America. Number B. He could not prepare well for the examination. He did not have sufficient time. Number C. Hurry ran fast. He wanted to get the first prize. Number D. I went to my aunt's house. I wanted to see my ailing cousin. Number E. She went to Deradu. She went there to see her sister. Number F. My uncle is quite weak. He cannot go for a morning walk. Number G. He is very fat. He cannot run fast. Number H. He has three daughters. He has to get them married. Number I. He remained very serious in his studies right from very beginning of the session. He wanted to top the board's examination. And finally, number J. Men work day and night. He has to support his family. Students, I hope you will be able to solve these two exercises. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.